Most, most real is still M16 rounds from 16s. Blood money over here. Cash rule daily. Flip cream. Lay it down flat. Call it a G language. Keep flaming. Sophisticated killers. That's rich and famous. For acting like your bakery. Bake stacks. Get your cake snatched. And your pride too. Money can't replace that. Run, but you can't hide the games that you play. It get you viewed by a coroner. Coward, this is my corner. Come on. Peace to my corner. What's good, Fight Fans? This is Ashley's Corner. Shout out to the LDBC. Now, tomorrow, Devin Haney fights Zaire Abdulev. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Um, I believe the fight is going to be good. It's going to be a good fight. Let me run through the specs real quick. Devin Haney has 22 wins, no losses, 14 knockouts. He's fought for 110 rounds. His knockout rating is 63.64%. He's 20 years old. He's 5'8 with a 71-inch reach. Zaire has 11 wins, 7 knockouts. He's fought for 69 rounds. And his knockout rating is exactly the same, 63.64%. He's 25 years old. He's 5'9", and he fights out of Russia. Now, the guy has popped. As you know, I've seen his highlights. I have not seen one whole fight of his, but I have seen his highlights. And um, he uh, he's fought for exactly half of the amount of fights that Haney has. Haney has 22. He has 11. Haney has 14 knockouts. He has seven. Okay? And, uh, you know, of course, we all know Haney got popped, too. He he has great knockouts. Um, um, that's why I believe this fight's going to be pretty good. I think uh, Zaire has a very hard head, and I believe he can, take a, he can take a nice punch. And I believe he has good power, and he likes to counter. Um, he can also pick his shots well also, but he likes to counter punch, and he don't just throw one punch at a time. He throws very good hooks, as I can see, and um, yeah, he can be, he can, he can take, he can take a good punch as well. And um, Haney is a very is a is much more technical than um, than than he is, and he's gonna need that. He's gonna need to be very technical and box. Zaire and not get caught in this fight. Don't don't make it don't have one second in the fight where it look like you're hurt by this guy from Russia. Don't. You know, we you you see we see you're pushing for the Lomachenko fight and whatnot, Haney. If I was you, I wouldn't even try to knock this cat out. I would outbox this cat. You know, if you want to knock him out deep in the rounds, go ahead and do that. I see that being very possible. You know, this is for the WBC interim belt. Even though it's an interim belt, this is your first belt, Devin Haney. And, of course, he doesn't want to lose or look bad. So, I suggest you outbox this cat. Um, I believe their reach is the same. Uh, you have to really look it up to find the Russian's reach. But I forget exactly what I what it was. But I believe it's the same. You know, it's close to the same. It's not going to be a big difference. I think he has one inch of height on Devin Haney. And that's about it, you know. Um, the speed I would give to Haney, you know, both of them got good pop. But um, I still believe it's going to be a very good fight. And uh, Devin Haney has more experience than him, of him, of course, fighting double the amounts that double the amount of fights that he's fought. So I say box him, pull out the victory easy without, you know, having taken any punishment whatsoever. Uh, that's what I say. That's what I think Devin Haney should be should be doing in this fight. Um, but this fight could be going, you know, I think it's going to go all 12 rounds. If there is a stoppage, I believe Haney could get that stoppage um, when Zaire is already, when he's slowing down and getting tired. Like like a, um, a late round, stop, like late in the rounds, um, it could be stopped probably around 9 rounds, 10 rounds, 11 um, seeing that, you know, the guy doesn't have that much experience as Haney does, and I believe, and, you know, take him to deep waters and watch him drown. But I'm picking Devin the Dream Haney to win this fight in the decision or a possible stoppage. I believe it's going to be a good one. Main event on the zone in New York tomorrow, not Saturday. The fight is going down tomorrow on Friday. Always like and subscribe to the channel. 
Peace.